Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh my gosh, I made it to day six. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am on day six of seven of my full liquid diet. Um, I am very excited. I did not realize that. Um, I had to count. So tomorrow is the last day of my liquid diet before dun, 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 my VSG surgery. Um, as you can tell, I am in great spirits. Um, hold on one second. Phone is ringing. Um, I am in great spirits. I feel amazing. Um, I have really gotten used to the, um, kind of gotten in the swing of things. You can see I had to take my nails off. Um, I don't know that I closed out my video yesterday. I was pretty tired um, yesterday uh, at the end of the day after work and everything. So um, I ended the night just fine. I um, ended up having some of the, um, I'll, I'll put the name, I'll put the name of the, the brand of, I can't remember. I'll put the name of the, the link. I will link the name of the, the soup, um, that I had last night. Um, but it was pretty good. It was a broccoli and cheese, um, keto soup, um, strained it out. And I really like this soup. Um, you do have to kind of jazz it up and add your own flavors. However, I, what I like about it is there's not big chunks of broccoli that you have to strain out. There's a few little bitty pieces. I mean, but they are very tiny, but I still take the time to go through and strain them out. Um, but I had a cup of that soup last night. Um, I tried the Special K um, strawberry protein drink. Hold on, let me get the bottle so I can show you. I tried um, this drink last night, the Special K protein shake. And it's in, I'm trying to squeeze it because the bottle, maybe it's okay. Um, it's in the flavor of strawberry, has 15 grams of protein. Um, I drink probably about that much of this. I did not enjoy this. Um, it definitely had the chalky type texture. Um, um, the taste, it was just not good. I, I did not like this. It was light, like a light, like a watered down um, regular protein shake. Um, so it didn't feel very, very filling or anything like that. And overall, I just did not like the taste. I kept like kind of searching for the strawberry taste, but all I would find was like that chalky aftertaste. And I, I didn't, I did not enjoy this. Um, but to each his own, but this is what I did try to have last night with my dinner. Um, I put that down and ended up just getting some water, um, to finish my, um, you know, to finish meeting my, my water intake for the day. Um, but yeah, yesterday ended, ended great. Um, no real anything to report. So that's why I did not come back, but I wanted to at least circle back to it at the top of this video. Um, and then this morning, the time is currently 8.24 a.m. I am getting ready to go and log into work. And I said, let me um, quickly just do a video and just come in and say hello. Um, almost there. So this morning, I'm going to start out with one of my um, protein drinks. This is the Dymatize um, protein powder mixed with some unsweetened um, almond milk in my cup and if you get really closely this is in the flavor fruity pebbles which is my favorite it feels like i'm having a bowl of cereal you could see that it has like these are not flakes i mean these are these are not like anything solid these are just like little color things but it makes you feel like you're having the flakes from the um from the um from the fruity pebbles um so i like that so let me shake it up Make sure all of that is, that powder is mixed in there very well. All right, ready? Let's try this. Mm. That's good. 
it's good. I think it's so rare when you can like drink a protein drink and say, hey, it's really good. It really feels like I'm having a bowl of cereal. So I'm going to finish this up. Um, in between there, I'm gonna take a pause and take one of my Celebrate multivitamins with iron. I will say that yesterday I did have my pre-admission um, workup um, appointment at the hospital where I'll be having my surgery in two days. What? And um, I was able to, I had to give blood and do some, um, some blood work. Um, they did a full, I think it's called a CBC panel, um, where they're checking iron levels and blood clotting abilities and platelet counts and all that kind of stuff. Um, and they did a pregnancy blood test as well. Um, <laughs> I was like, y'all, that's that part is going to be fine. So don't worry about that. Um, but anyway, um, I received my results through my um, health portal last night. And I was looking through, and of course, everything comes through with like um, all these abbreviations. So I had my phone, I had my iPad, and I was going through and I was Googling the different um, codes. And I know you may have heard me mention in other videos that my heart kind of does this like flutter, skip a beat kind of thing. And I have figured out that I am extremely low in iron. Like, um, there was a few flags that had the the just letter L um, signaling that it was um, low or deficient in those areas. And so when I looked up, um, you know, did more research on it, it was saying that um, low iron levels um, is very often associated with irregular heartbeat. So I will be putting in a message to... Um, both the surgeon's office and my PCP today to see if there's something different that I should be doing um, now or if there's some uh, supplemental regimen that I should um, take in addition to um, my chewables after surgery um, because that is, that's concerning. That's very concerning, but um, it did bring a level of consolation when um, I was able to kind of trace it back to okay and this makes sense this makes sense i remember before back in 2020 at the end of 2020 when i was um doing keto intermittent fasting i was super diligent about taking all my multivitamins and uh, all of my supplements and everything each and every single day like clockwork on time and i did not have that i i noticed that i did not have that um that that irregular heartbeat anymore uh, but I didn't really associate the two. I just figured, oh, like I'm getting healthy. So maybe that's why, um, you know, it's doing that. But um, that that makes sense. Like the lightheadedness, all of it, it makes sense. I'm always, my hands, my feet always cold. In fact, at my desk, I actually have like a little heater um, and under my desk because my feet are always cold. Um, I crave ice all of the time like if I think about ice like my mouth waters like so I know that they say like that is a really really big sign um an indicator that um you're you're iron deficient so anyway my multi-complete does have iron in it I take two of these per day sorry my alarm was ringing um I take two of these per day and so let me see if I can figure out that is 60 milligrams total for per day that I take of the iron. And then the calcium shoes obviously don't have iron in them because you cannot take iron and calcium within two hours of each other. Otherwise, they will cancel each other out. So um, I'll show you guys what I was wrestling with. So um, this, these are the two um, brands and types of um, calcium citrate shoes that I have. So Bariatric Advantage and then Celebrate. Um, the uh, Bariatric Advantage um, brand, these have some really, 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 really good flavors. So um, my, my son and I, I call him sidekick when I'm doing my videos because he's asleep right now, but because um, it, it never fails. Like whenever I'm doing a video, he's like always kind of, hanging around ready for me to say like okay and my sidekick and I so he can kind of make his appearance he loves the camera y'all but anyway 
um, th this brand has some really nice flavors um, that really just taste like you're having um, a piece of candy or like a Starburst or something like that. Um, I have a caramel uh, flavor that is coming today. I really enjoyed that caramel flavor. It tasted like one of those chewy, wor how you say it? Weathers, Weather, Werther's, Werther's, I think it is. Werther's original um, ch uh, little creamy caramel chew. I'm not doing a very good job of explaining this, but you guys know what I mean. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's like kind of like that buttery, creamy taste. It was really, really good. I hate it for it to like dissolve and go away. So I definitely prefer the chew, um, the um, chews, the soft chews to the protein, not protein, the um, calcium tablets. I don't like, it, and it's not just the berry. I don't like the tablets at all. Like I feel like it's enough for me to have to take my multivitamin in the, in the form of a tablet. This feels like a treat when I'm having these um, these shoes. And this this um, flavor, this lemon cream, is really good too. This one is really good. It, it, this is good. It has a little bit of sour in the middle. This is good. But anyway, I'm going to um, reach out to my PCP and my surgeon's office to find out about the, the iron um, situation. And um, oh, when I was at my... Um, appointment yesterday and I recorded um, some of the um, the visit um, just and you just pick up the audio but I just wanted you guys to you know kind of stay still stay on the journey with me and just kind of hear um, what that process what the pre-admission pre process um, looked like or sounded like what kind of questions what, what kind of things are they preparing you for so that way you can hear them firsthand um, because sometimes, you know, we can recount stuff that happened the day before and we might miss some, um, leave something out. So anyway, I had a, um, bunch of, I got a bunch of paperwork. I'm going to show it this way because it does have some personal information up there, but, um, we got some paperwork, um, and also received two drinks. Okay. So... I got, and they're both the exact same, but I'll show you. I got two drinks. One I'm supposed to drink um, the night before surgery, before I go to sleep. Um, so they say, you know, if you go to sleep um, after nine, take drink this at nine. This is um, an insure um, pre-surgery carb drink, um, clear carbohydrate drink. So this is, this is what it looks like um and on the packet it, i mean this picture it just looks like a, a glass of sprite the flavor is strawberry y'all it has 50 grams of carbs in it so i'm like oh my gosh drinking 50 grams of carbs before i go to sleep i wonder if i will be able to go to sleep i'm gonna be on the roof um <laughs> um just because you know i have been carb deficient or in a deficit for so long throughout this whole process, like then like zapping your inner your your body with this many carbs. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be a treat, you know. Hopefully I'm, you know, it'll be good. But anyway, it doesn't have any protein in it. Fifty carbs, six grams of sugar, um, 180 milligrams of sodium, zero fat, 200 calories. The serving size is this full 10 ounce bottle. So I'm going to get this really, really cold. Drink this nine o'clock the night before surgery. My surgery time is scheduled at 1.30. I have to be at the hospital by 10.30. So, um, so three hours prior to surgery. And so she said, on my way to the hospital, drink another bottle. It has to be three hours prior to my surgery. So what this, the, the purpose of this is... Um, they said that it um, greatly reduces the amount of nausea that you have after surgery and um, also make sure that your body is dehydrated. So I got these two things um, at my appointment. Um, so I'll get these super cold. And another thing that I got, which I feel like has been leaking, it's very sticky on the bottom, is this Ecolab Scrub Stat 4%. I'm not even going to attempt to read this is some type of antiseptic um and so here's what this looks like and um what the the instructions are for this is that the 
I'm supposed to wash with this twice. So once the night before I um, have my surgery, so on Thursday night, um, I'm supposed to wash one time through with my regular body soap. And then I am supposed to turn the water off, stay in the shower, turn the water off, put half of this bottle on my wash rag. That was country. On my washcloth. Um, apply this, wash myself, apply it all over my body. Start the timer for one minute. Leave it up there for one minute. Turn the water back on. Rinse it off. That is it. I'm not supposed to um, put any lotions, perfumes, no nothing, no deodorant, no nothing. Don't put anything on over this. I also need to, and I, I mean, she called this out, so I will too, but I think this is, I hope most people are doing this, but putting on a freshly laundered pair of pajamas for the night. She said, if you have pets, do not sleep with the pets that night. Make sure that your bed linen is freshly washed out of the, um, you know, out of the laundry. And, um, Basically, it makes sure that you're not picking up any extra bacteria from anywhere. This is going to help prevent um, like Mercer infections and things like that. So that's the night before. And then the night, the morning of, go take another shower. This time, only use this. Do not use your regular um, um, body wash. Only use this. Do the same thing. You know, get your body, you know, wet your body. Turn the water off. Put this on, let it stay on for a minute. Um, turn the water back on, rinse off, and then that's it. Put on a, another freshly laundered pair of clothes that you're gonna wear to the hospital and then get to the hospital and take your trusty drink with you and drink this in the car. So these are my instructions. Those are the two things that I got. Those are only two things that I got yesterday. Um, so other than that, um, that's about it. That's about it. Um, I wanna make sure that I mention it is very important not to um, consume anything with the, the red 40 dye or anything that's like a dark color while we're on the full liquids as we're getting closer to our surgery date. So the popsicles, like red, um, purple popsicles, red jello, because they said that that dye will um, Kind of give them false signals like once they do the the leak test after the surgery or if you have to go number two but that's the only thing we're we're eating so of course it's going to come all we're consuming is liquid so of course it's going to come out as liquid um but if you're like looking at it or your nurse is looking at it and it's red in the toilet or it's a dark purple in the toilet they don't want to confuse that and think it might be blood or be on the cusp of like is that blood or is that ink so it's best to consume those flavors those colors of your um your liquids or your your meals um at the beginning of the the full liquid diet stage and then towards the end gradually start getting um brighter so um i hope that makes sense let me know if you have any questions about that part but i did feel like it was important for me to point that out um they want your nails um clear no nothing no polish no nothing on them um, same thing with your toenails. I will not be showing you my toes, um, but that's because um, the oxygenation clip that they put on your finger. And then if something happens and God forbid someone is losing oxygen, your nail beds will be a different color. Like they can start turning blue or start turning purple. And if you have, you know, those beautiful nails or beautiful nail polish on your fingers and your toes, they're not going to be able to see that. And then a lot of times that clip it can't go through certain metallics in nail polish. So that was the reason for that. Um, she shocked me yesterday when she was like, yeah, not even deodorant. I'm like, whoa, wait, not even deodorant. But you will have just taken two showers back to back. You should be fine. Just ride the whole way to the hospital with your arms like this out the window with your drink in your hand. I'm kidding. Um, but anyway, okay. So first check-in in the morning. 8.40, um, I gotta go wake, sidekick up, and um, that is it. I'm gonna take my vitamin, finish up my shake, and get on, wait. Finish up my shake and get on with the day. All right, bye. Hi, welcome back. Um, so I am just doing a midday, it's not midday yet, maybe, kinda. It's around 11 o'clock. Um, 
I just wanted to do another check-in because it is time for me to take another calcium chew. I'm still feeling great, still feeling energized, and um, wanted to just stop in really quickly because I'm actually getting ready to take my last um, calcium chew sample <clears throat> with the different flavors. I actually received 12 different samples from my nutritionist um, through the um, bariatric clinic that I went through. I had, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had seven samples from bariatric, bariatric Advantage and one, two, three, four, five samples from Celebrate. Um, and so really quickly, I wanted to do um, a rating. So, bef but before I do that, I'm gonna take my last sample. Uh, since I'm right at time, this is from Bariatric Advantage and this is in the flavor Coconut. Oh, okay, this is kind of cool. It's all white, look at that. All right. Um, this is the brand of the iron supplement that I purchased. Um, it's the Kids Chewable. It's 15 milligrams just so that I can make sure that I hit the recommended dosage for iron in a day. This does have iron in it, but not enough. So I take <clears throat> one of these twice a day. One of these twice. Right. How do I say that? Yeah. One of these twice a day. One of these twice a day. And I take them at the same time. So when I do, go to do my multivitamin, I do my multivitamin plus the iron supplement. And then I do the calcium chews. You have to do a calcium chew three times a day. So um, give yourself some variety. And um, I'll stop back in when I get the, um, the other package in when that gets delivered with the other two um, calcium chews. Okay. That's it, that's all I wanted to say. I'm gonna run and have a um, protein shake um, at this time and I'm gonna get back to work. All right, bye. Actually, I'm gonna show, I'm out and I'll show you, I'll show you guys um, the protein shake because I have not tried that on camera yet, but I am absolutely loving it. So stay tuned in just one second. Okay, so I'm back really quickly. Um, I went ahead and mixed up um, my next protein drink, um, and I wanted to just quickly share, I am using the Quest Cinnamon Crunch um, flavor of Quest. It is so good. It's so good. I mean, it is really ranked right up there with my Fruity Pebbles protein shake, um, and y'all know I love that. This is so, so, so good. It literally tastes like the cereal, and there's actually little bits of what feels like cereal in the protein shake itself. It's really good. It's 20 grams of protein, um, four um, net carbs of car, uh, net carbs. Um, total fat is 1.5 grams. Is there anything else? Calories, 110. One scoop will give you um, uh, eight ounces of per, per um, and you add one scoop to eight ounces of either your, um, um, what is it, almond milk or, um, or water. Okay, so I'm going to use water. Um, I like to use the unsweetened almond milk. Um, I have to use the unsweetened right now during the full liquid diet, but I add these two together and shake it up. And let me see, I'm gonna shake it and then I'm gonna show you the camera so you can see the little bits coming down. Do you see those? Not the bubbles, but you can kind of see them. You can see them kind of cascading down the, the side of the cup and it smells just like cinnamon um, in the bottle, but let's see. Don't smell it after you mix it up. Just just don't. Just trust me on this and don't smell it. Don't smell the appetizer. But please also do trust me and taste it because it is bomb. And, and you're welcome in advance. Mm, so good. Let me see if you can see the little bits. That's going to be that, guys. I think that's it. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. 
Hello, welcome back. Um, the time now is about 2.45. Um, I am still on day six of my seven day full liquid diet. And um, I'm hungry. It's time to uh, get something to eat. So what I'm going to do is um, get a little creative with my um, protein shakes. And I have chosen to try to make a peanut butter and jelly protein shake. All right, so I have my ingredients and my supplies and everything laid out here, and I will just quickly go through them. I'm gonna use a spoon, a strainer, my Ninja Blender base, the cup that's, um, that will um, go in it with the blade. I'm gonna use my shaker bottle once it's all said and done. This is the one that says Mind Over Matter. Um, really love it. It still has the whisk in there. I probably won't need the whisk, but I'll probably just take that out. Um, I'm going to use one bottle. Um, it's 11.5 fluid ounces of the Fairlife um, um, protein drink. 30 grams of protein, which is awesome. Right here in this one bottle, and it tastes delicious. This is the vanilla flavored. Um, I'm also going to use the Smuckers sugar-free blackberry jam and i want to point out that this is seedless so um we will um you know we're not allowed to have like the seeds so i did find the seedless kind so this is the smuckers sugar-free seedless blackberry jam um this one is only 10 calories per um, tablespoon and five grams of carbs which perfectly hits what um, my limit is for um, for each shake. So this is great. All right, so there's that one. And then I'm also gonna use some PB2 powder. So this is my peanut butter. This is my jelly, all right? Um, <laughs> this one has um, four net carbs, 60 calories per two um, tablespoons, and six grams of protein. So this is gonna be a protein packed shake, which is exactly what we want. All right, so let's get started here with adding the ingredients. I am taking the lid off. I'm gonna add my protein drink to the bottom of, got the moves like Jagger, um, <laughs> to the bottom, to this cup. So there's all of that. I'm just gonna sit my, my what I've used up here on the, top of the microwave so that way you guys can still see them um, as I'm using them. Okay, um, I also went and grabbed my um, little um, measuring spoons so that I can, you know, properly track nutrients and things that I'm trying to track each day. So, um, or with each, each meal, each drink. Um, so anyway, I got this. So this is saying two tablespoons, so using the tablespoon measurement. I'm just open this up just a little bit more here. If you've never um, seen this before, it smells exactly like peanut butter. It tastes really good. I, I really like to add this to yogurt, um, my Greek yogurt, um, to give it some more taste. Um, but this, and there's several different ways that you can utilize this. Um, and I actually, you know, as I keep finding, you know, different creative ways to use this stuff and make this work with, you know, our new journey, I will definitely hop on the camera and show you guys and, and take you along on that. But this is what it looks like up front. Um, PB2 is the brand and it's just powdered peanut butter. All right, so this is what it looks like. Pretty fine, finely um, powdered. All right, so there's one, and let's do two. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting an even scoop without touching it. There we go, two, and this. There's just out to be two, so there we go. All right, so there's two there. I got my peanut butter on my bread. Um, now I'm gonna use this, and this is saying 
one tablespoon per serving. Mmm, smells really good. I'm about to hold it to you guys so y'all can smell it. You can't smell this, but at least look at it. This is what <laughs> it looks like. I've never had sugar-free um, jam before. Let's see, one tablespoon. So I'm gonna use the same one. I'm actually gonna just wipe it off. I have a um, pre-moistened paper towel here, and then I have a dry one here. Um, just in case so I don't have to keep going back and forth away from the camera, but I'm going to take my scooper. Ooh, it's very soft. Ooh, it's very soft. And give myself a scoop. Go. Oh, okay. Got my jelly. It smells really good. I bet Sidekick is going to want to try this. All right, so once these ingredients are added to your cup, <clears throat> go ahead and put your face on with the blades. Okay, make sure it's tightened. And you can kind of see everything. The jelly went to the bottom. The peanut butter is staying at the top. I'm gonna give it just a little mix myself just so that when I turn it over, everything doesn't stick to the blades. All right, so now I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna turn it over and make sure that the grooves here go into the grooves like here that you can see. And then I'm gonna just press it, okay? I'm gonna speed this part up so that way you guys don't get all the, the noise. Enjoy the elevator music. It is all blended. This is the color. It's like a light tan color. Take my strainer, place it over my shaker cup, and I'm just gonna slowly strain everything through. It looks like it's pretty well incorporated. There are no clumps or anything. Um, if anything, this strainer is probably just gonna catch foam, which it did. Let's put the lid on this baby and give it a try, okay? Let's go. Y'all, this is good. This is really good. Mm. This is really good. This is really good. Um, if this is not cold enough for you, um, add a couple of um, pieces of ice and give it a shake um, and just chill this a little bit more or you can pre-make it, put it in the refrigerator and chill it even more. Um, but yeah, this is the product. This is my PB&J um, protein uh, drink. So I think this is a great idea. If you try this, please let me know down below. Let me know how you liked it. Um, if you have any other recipes um, that you would suggest, let me know. I'm happy to um, try them out, you know, whatever gets us through this. And then even after the surgery, I will still have another two weeks of liquid diet. So there we go. Got to get creative with this. What did I make yesterday? Yesterday I made, oh no, it was day before yesterday. I made a chocolate covered strawberry protein drink, um, using one, the chocolate version of Fair Life real strawberries and um you know mixed it in my with my ninja blender and then strained it so i could strain the seeds out and any pulp and there you go the strawberries added a little bit of sweetness um so check out that video this protein shake idea is very very versatile so you can add pb2 with one um banana mix the banana up with the protein drink in your blender with a scoop of pb2 what, what we use we use two scoops two scoops of pb2 blend it all together strain it then you have bananas and peanut butter um there's a lot of different variations of this that you can do so anyway we'll keep sticking in there together and try new different um and creative recipes i'm gonna get cleaned up here 
and I want to thank you guys for joining the video today. Um, I would love to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, look down. You see where my picture is? I'm kind of turned to the side. Look just to the right of that. And there's a button there that says subscribe. Go ahead, hit that bell. We're going to have fun here. So um, I don't want you missing out on any new content and the opportunity for us to engage with one another. So subscribe if you haven't. Tell a friend. And tell that friend to tell a friend. Um, I would love to join, uh, grow my channel with you guys um, and leave a comment down below if you so choose. Um, I will definitely be reading all the comments and responding back. All right. Bye, guys.